What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmiston here from Schwartz Edmiston Web Design. In today's video, I'm going to talk about minimizing what I'm going to call page jump on page load of a Squarespace website. So I have an announcement bar enabled here and when I reload the page, you'll see that um, the header kind of loads smaller than normal. And we'll talk about that in a little bit, but also having the announcement bar enabled like really amplifies this page jump kind of effect um, where everything starts at the top and then it has to jump down to accommodate the announcement bar loading in and this was a question that was asked and so I wanted to quickly make a video for you guys uh, to answer this question so let's go ahead and jump right in okay so I'm here in my Squarespace site and um, the way that we're going to remedy this is uh, I'm just going to turn off the announcement bar here to show you that it's not only the announcement bar that's causing this to happen. Um, marketing announcement bar disable. It's also because the header loads smaller um, initially and then when this content is populated then it expands to its full height. Um, so that's also contributing to this page jump effect. So now that the announcement bar is off, you can really see the header doing that. So it loads smaller and then it kind of jumps down uh, to accommodate the size of the site title and everything in the header. So that little jump uh, is part of the problem. And then when you have the announcement bar enabled, it just totally amplifies that problem. Um, so I'm going to talk about first fixing this little header problem and then how we can accommodate the announcement bar and making that work as well. Okay, so we are going to fix this with CSS. So go ahead and go to your custom CSS window. And uh, really the, the easiest, it's really easy to solve this problem. So I'm gonna click inspect and all we have to do is set a minimum height on the header that's equal to its height. So that means even when there's no content in there because it initially loads smaller and then expands once the content is in there. So all we have to do is find the height that the header actually is when all the content is in there. Um, so the easiest way to do that, find the header class and then come down here and we can see that the width and here's the height. So it's 100 pixels tall. So all we have to do is set a minimum height on the header of 100 pixels and that will ensure that the header never gets smaller than 100 pixels. So I'm gonna come over here, we're gonna target that header class and I'm gonna add a min height of 100 pixels. And if I save that, come over here and reload the frame, no more page jump. So that forces the header to load uh, and never become smaller than its actual height. So perfect, uh, that looks good. Let's go ahead and add the announcement bar back in uh, and I'm gonna talk about how we can fix the page jump with the announcement bar. So I'll enable this real quick. I think that enabled, yep, okay. So I'll refresh. So now you can see we kind of have the page jump coming back because uh, the site initially loads without the announcement bar and then it pushes everything down to accommodate the announcement bar. So what we're gonna do is we're going to set the position of the announcement bar to absolute, and that will take it out of the flow of the page. Um, so it will no longer bump down the other content because it won't be, it won't have a position that has any sort of relationship to any of the content around it. And then we'll add a padding top to the header to accommodate that room that it was taking up, uh, and that will fix our problem. So let's go ahead and grab the outermost container for the announcement bar. Um, so let's see. That This is the outermost container, SQN, SQS announcement bar drop zone. I'm gonna copy that class, target classes with a period. I'm gonna open up some curly brackets um, and we're gonna set the position to absolute. And you're gonna see it completely messes it up. So it just, you saw the header jump up um, and that's because position absolute takes this container out of the document flow. So everything else jumps up to take the space that it was previously occupying. 
when it was part of the document flow. And now we just have to give it a width of 100%. Um, but because again, doesn't have any relationship to the content around it, we're covering up the header below. So all we have to do is add a padding top, some padding to the header that is equivalent to the height of the announcement bar, and then we'll be good. Um, so first we have to see how tall that announcement bar is. So we know how much padding to add. So 35.7, I'll just round it up to 36 pixels. I'm gonna be adding 36 pixels of padding to the top of the header. So padding top, 36 pixels. And now we are back to what it originally looked like with just a couple lines of CSS. And now if I refresh, we should have a lot less jumping going on. Okay. So there you go. So you can see the announcement bar, um, it still takes a second to load in afterwards, but you get no more page jumping at all, which is great. There you go, couple lines of CSS to minimize that page jump. I recommend just throwing these into the site really quickly uh, and it just kind of helps the aesthetic of how the site loads. All right guys, that's it for this one. Have a good one, I'll see you in the next one.